definitely uh, got a solid Sheik as well. I, I don't know too much about Pyro and Fez. Uh, maybe uh, they can uh, put in a lot of work in this double smash. But we will see right now where are they going to go for game one. I think Dreamland would not be a good idea against uh, Slush and Sedimentary just because, you know, Samus can live way longer, can stock tank longer. So I would assume maybe avoid FD and, uh, and uh, Dreamland. Even FOD, actually. Just because of uh, the, the tethering. But that's not very uh, a high priority when you want to ban, so... Anyways, we got the match going right now. Uh, Slush taking the top platform there. Probably just uh, waiting out a, a combo setup, but uh, decides to come back down at the stage. I should uh, update the thing here. It's not pools anymore, by the way, guys. It's actually doubles bracket. I really wish we could get some commentators here to help me out here. But anyway, we have... I'm interested, I, I'm pretty curious as to why, uh, not why, but it, it's all, it's awesome to see a, uh, a Roy actually being used in doubles. Hopefully he will be able to uh, do something with Roy here. I don't know which one's the Roy, Pyro or Frez. Uh, Pyro makes more sense because, you know, Pyro's like fire and he's got, he's got like the, you know, the fire, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, uh... It, yeah, green team just getting slapped around right now. Good down smash by Slush. Rock, rocking that uh, question mark tag. Alright, so Slush not looking uh, too fresh right now. He's got two, two stocks down already. I think he needs to be more careful about... Uh, how he approaches the, the 2v1s or even just edge guarding. Oh, that was nice, but uh, the, the Roy was not able to sweet spot the edge. Regardless, he was prepared for the edge guard. Alright. Good up smash. Oh, that was a nice combo. Team combos. Alright, gets Roy off stage, makes it back. Oh, cool. Now, they F smash uh, sent Slush into um, Sedimentary Rock's bomb and kind of just stopped them from uh, leaving the stage. But unfortunately, Slush is down uh, to his last stock. Sedimentary on his fresh two. Hopefully, they'll be able to uh, find a way to clutch it out here. Pyro and Fez definitely putting in a lot of work. Uh, the Roy Sheik team is uh, looking pretty fresh. All right, so he's got him in a grab here. Set him in tree rock with that F smash, nearly taking out both of them. But oh, he did not get uh, the edge guard on on the Roy. Now, oh, okay, so looking pretty good for them right now. Uh, the Sheik had to share stock with Roy so that you couldn't leave him alone on a 2v1, especially when you're Roy. I mean, quite honestly, that's that's terrible. You have to 2v1 a Sheik and a Samus. Ah, uh, okay, and he loses his last stock. <laughs> if Roy is your boy and he's a skilled Roy, anything's possible. You gotta dream. Alright, so Slush is gonna have to do a uh, share stock here. Very doable. Uh, all he's got to do is um, get rid of sedimentary rock somehow, and you know just get one clean edge guard on slush, and then I'm making it sound easy, but it's possible. Believe. All right. Slush and sedimentary rock. Clutch out that game. Take game one. All right. Good stuff. Both both teams playing really well.
All right, so they go by. They go to a uh, Pokemon Stadium this time, and we see a character switch to Marth. Okay, I think that's better. Uh, Marth is definitely a more well-rounded character. Obviously, on uh, the, one of the top tiers in this game. So perhaps we can put in a lot more work at, compared to Roy. And already we're seeing uh, one stock down with the F smash. Looks like the Sheiks are getting bodied here. I'm assuming everyone likes to see a Sheik getting bodied, so. Good F smash, that was a tipper. Was able to make it back. Oh, I see. Uh, that, that the green sheik was a little too slow on the edge guard. I, I really like to know which one is which. Um, all right. So the sheiks are having a little bit of battle on the top on the, on the platform there. Sedimentary rock just sitting back, charging his uh his neutral B. All right, hits shield though. All right, guess up to the green sheik for uh oh, almost edge guards uh, slush there, but uh, a little too far to grab the edge. Could not make it in time. And all right, wow, looking very even right now. Everyone had two stocks, pretty much on their fresh two stocks. I'm, I'm really seeing that sometimes, like, the teams are just not, like, working together and covering each other. Like, sometimes one, one person would be comboing really hard. One person would just be getting comboed really hard, and the other team is just kind of sitting back. And I really think that, you know, you, you got to be more aware of when to to break uh, combos to, to save your teammate, right? So, uh, something to look out for. Very good, very good. Uh, weighted to uh, wait for Sedimentary Rock to come back onto stage and got him with the F, uh, F smash. Oh, uh, yeah. He got sent away too far, would not have made it back, and got knocked into the boss zone. Oh, it tries to sweep spot up B. I think he was, like, anticipating a roll in or something. Or maybe, like, a wave dash in. Okay. Green team, green team looking a little bit better now. Now that I think he switched to Marth, it, he's covering a lot of more, uh, more of the options. Whereas uh, Roy would struggle a lot more. Uh, that's unfortunate. He loses uh, his last stock. So Sedimentary Rock obviously wants to stay alive here. Does not want to lose his stock. Wants to keep that 2v1 situation for as long as possible. Yeah, so you're just sitting back. I think he's just waiting for like a combo setup. Uh, it takes the it takes the tree. Very good stuff. That could have been a bad combo for him. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna make it back from there. Yep, edge guards. And uh, good stuff to slush some energy block, clutching out that second game and taking the set 2-0. All right.